Blonde hair extensions usually come very brassy, like this. These are full shine extensions. These are tape-ins, which is what I would recommend if you're doing hair extensions on yourself, by yourself. For full transparency, this brand is not the best. It's not the worst. You're gonna get about a month out of these. You can maybe get two by redoing the tape. I'll show you how to do that at the end, but you're definitely not getting six months out of these. When I wear extensions, this is the brand I always use. To get this yellow out, we're going back to the color wheel we talked about a few weeks ago. I have yellow. Directly across from yellow is violet or purple. When they collide or meet in the middle, it neutralizes the yellow out. It gives you a nice neutral tone. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to tone these. We're not using an actual hair color toner like we talked about last week with the color, the developer, the wet hair, 15 minutes. You want to avoid any kind of bleach, real colors, or toners on hair extensions. Hair extensions have already been processed very aggressively. So the cuticle is inflamed, out of whack, and it's not good. The last thing you wanna do is to slap some color on here, bleach, lightener, whatever you wanna call it, and ruin the hair. So this is the safest way. You're gonna need a bowl, plastic bowl. I like to use this one. It's from the Chinese restaurant. I love egg drop soup. Lukewarm water in here. Now we're gonna add purple shampoo. Doesn't have to be this brand. This is just what I have. Put some purple shampoo in here. Add more water. You'll have something like this. You're gonna wet these like this. Very important to wet these before you dunk them in here. If you just dunk them with dry hair, it's going to be a splotchy result. You're gonna have patches of purple, gray areas. It's not gonna look great. In the dunking booth, goes the hair. You wanna leave the taped ends out or fusions, whatever extensions you're using, leave the bond out. We don't wanna get this wet before we actually apply them. The timing on this is just a couple minutes. You can see it's working super fast. You'll wanna rinse these with cool water until the water runs clear. You can shampoo them if you want, I usually don't. Also, you'll wanna do small batches like this. This is about seven pieces. You don't wanna dip the whole bundle in there. It's gonna be hard for it to all penetrate through. So you just wanna do little, batches at a time. Remember, take your time, girl, you're wearing this. Take your time. If you dunk these and they're way too violet, you can take a clarifying shampoo and shampoo these to get that violet tint out. Dandruff shampoo will also work really well. If you don't have any of that, just use any shampoo. Shampoo it a couple times, it will come out. It's just a temporary shampoo. The reasoning we tone these first before we put them in our head and then just shampoo it is because our real hair is gonna take longer to accept this color. This works really fast. This was about a minute. Where my real hair, I could leave it on for five minutes and maybe get this result, maybe not. I'll probably have to use a color toner, especially me because my hair is golden. To dry these, you're not. Remember, this isn't the best quality of hair, so we can't be taking blow dryers, curling irons every day to it. You can't. Well, you can, but it's not gonna last long. The ends are gonna start getting puffy, you're gonna start getting rat's nest, matty, it's not gonna be good look. The easiest way to dry these is on a hanger. You can fold it over the hanger like this, but you're gonna have a crease, just know that. Take this with a clothespin. I just hang mine on the door seal, door frame, what is that, crown molding? I don't know, and turn the fan on. You do not wanna put these outside if it's sunny outside. The less heat, the better. Now, when they're actually in your hair, you've got all the tapes in here and it's shampoo day. You're gonna shampoo everything really well. You wanna blow dry this part, the weft, the bond, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna blow dry that part, but let the ends air dry. If you don't blow dry the bond, it's gonna make it come out faster. Eventually it will turn to this gummy like gooey texture and they'll just slide apart. So you do wanna blow dry the bonds, blow dry the top of your hair to style it, but let the rest of this, the bottom, that needs to air dry. Also a heat protectant is recommended. I'll usually do this process the day before I'm actually gonna put them in so they can just dry while I'm sleeping and the next day we'll pop them in. So here's what it looks like on the hanger. I just did eight pieces of hair. You're gonna have multiple hangers or you can get those pants hangers that have multiple tiers to them. I used to do it that way, but I like to use a single hanger now because they don't overlap each other and they can get full maximum airflow. For reference, I use two full packs of hair. So two of these, which would be 100 grams or 40 pieces. If you're doing the full head, you do need at least two packs of these. One is definitely not enough for any type of hair. Unless you're just doing a few front pieces, sometimes I'll just wear them in the front. Definitely would recommend at least having two. Here they are dry. 
The yellow's gone. It's a nice ashy silvery tint tone platinum blonde. Could have dipped it closer to the top because this is still yellow. That's okay. Here's another set of extensions I've colored with different shampoos. And actually this is the pants hanger I was talking about. You can hang them all on this. So you're just using one hanger. This is from At Home. It's an overwhelming store filled with things to decorate your home. These extensions are also full shine. They're just clip-ins. I toned these with blue shampoo and put a drop of pink hair color in them. The same method. I don't know if this will pick it up on camera, but they have a little bit of a rose tint to them. This is a U-part wig. Is it? No. It's a hair piece. It clips in the back and you cover the top with your real hair. This needs some maintenance. It is frizzy, but it is toned with blue shampoo. You can tone them in this egg drop soup bowl any kind of way you want to with any kind of color. You customize it to match your hair. For your real hair, I would recommend using an actual toner. The color, the developer, wet hair, 15 minutes. If you're wanting to change the tape on these, this sticky part, let's say you wore them for a month and you took really great care of them. You can take this tape off and apply new tape so you can get another wear out of these. Just trim the ends, put a deep mask on it, a deep mask, a conditioning mask. You wanna stay away from oils though because you don't want oil to get on the weft or your scalp because it makes these loosen up. This is a time consuming thing. I don't really have any fingernails or, well, I don't, look at them. You're just gonna try to get a piece of this, see that? And tear this off. You do have to be careful because if you do this too hard, it will rip this in half. Which by the way, I'm thinking about this. If you have super fine thin hair, you can cut these and make micro extensions. Here it goes. Whoop. Rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and wipe this. If you use a cotton ball and there's sticky residue, the cotton ball falls apart and it makes a mess. There's cotton everywhere. Just use a paper towel. This is the brand I would recommend. The packaging on this always looks different, but it is Walker Tape, No Shine Bond. Oh, it says packaging may vary. Okay, this is the best one. And I'm only going through this with you because sometimes, especially this company, which they have improved on it recently, I've noticed, the tape is awful. You'll put all these in. Spend an hour putting it in your head, shampoo your hair, and they'll all fall out. It's nothing you did wrong, it's just sometimes the tape is not good. To give them credit, the last four or five times I ordered them, the tape was fine. In case that happens, you'll know what to do. Looks like this. Peel this off. Okay, that didn't line up as well as I would have liked it to. You'll just reapply it here. And then you have a new piece of tape. Also make sure your hands are clean. And you've washed them with soap. Our hands have a lot of oil on them and you don't want oil ever near these. You wanna avoid hair oils. I would even avoid them on your real hair. Just use a cream based treatment like this. It's a 10 miracle leave-in. That wraps up our hair extension toning, prep, retaping. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Leave them below. I'll link my main channel below if you wanna join me on a Sunday, usually in this bathroom.